In a recent video, I suggested the common claim that a soft tip can impart more spin to the cue ball is a pull myth. In response to lots of social media backlash, I posted a follow-up video that thoroughly debunked the false myth with both fast speed and slow speed shots. I was able to reliably get maximum side spin on the cue ball with a wide range of tip hardness, including a phenolic tip on a break cue. But that still wasn't enough for some people. They then claimed I couldn't get power draw or large mouth say curve with the break cue phenolic tip. Konzo on AZ Billiards suggested I use shots from Billiard University Playing Ability Exam 3, which test execution of advanced shots. Specifically, he challenged me to attempt the power draw shot A6 and the large curve Massey shot A24. Here are the shots from a video several years ago using a playing cue with a medium hardness tip. I accepted the challenge to attempt these same shots with my phenolic tip break cue, hence this video. Let's start with the power draw. Again, here's the challenge shot I am attempting to execute. The cue is a Predator BK Rush break cue with a BK Hybrid phenolic tip. This is honestly my first try at the power draw shot with this cue. The shot sounded a little funny due to the extremely hard tip, but it worked. Here's my second try. That one felt even better with longer, more relaxed, and smoother acceleration. This is not soft. Listen how soft it's not. On the third attempt, I let up on the stroke a little and didn't accelerate completely, so I came up short. Here are some more examples. I honestly didn't miscue once during all my attempts, but I wasn't pushing the miscue limit as much as in my previous video. My aim wasn't perfect every time, but I got good draw on most of the shots. Honestly, power draw with the brake cue seemed easier than with my playing cue. This makes sense, since the extra speed given to the cue ball, due to the better hit efficiency and energy transfer of the harder tip, helps the cue ball retain a little more backspin on the way to the object ball. Now let's try the large curve Massé shot with the same brake cue and phenolic tip. Again, here's the challenge shot I am attempting to execute. Honestly, I didn't have much confidence to pull this off because a break cue with a phenolic tip is very different from a Massé cue that provides the best action on shots like this. Here's my first try. I am using the system linked in the video description for aiming the shot. The first shot didn't go well. Notice how the cue ball hopped and didn't curve very much. Here's my second try, which also went poorly. After playing around with it some, I realized that if I elevate more, I can capture and drive through the ball more to create more spin and less hop. This one worked better. Notice how the cue ball is no longer hopping and this curving more. This one curved too soon, which is what I would have expected at this speed with such high cue elevation. That's close. This one was really close. And this one curved too much. Since I proved it was possible, I decided to stop there. My 58-year-old arm was getting a little tired at this point, especially after all the power draw shots earlier. I also proved to myself that you would never want to use a phenolic tip break cue to attempt large curve Massé shots. It doesn't work very well. This sort of shot is a relative piece of cake with my playing cue. And it would have been even easier with a special purpose Massé cue. Notice how much less cue elevation and stroke effort are required with the playing cue as compared to the break cue. I hope you enjoyed my series of videos dealing with debunking the myth that a soft tip can impart more spin to the cue ball. This myth is simply false. A phenolic tip break cue is not a good choice for large curve Massé shots, 
but a really hard tip can reliably impart as much spin as a soft tip for power draw shots and side spin shots at both slow and fast speeds. Try out the maximum side spin tests from the previous video, and if you are brave, try the power draw and masse challenge shots with the hardest tips you can find. Just make sure you chalk up carefully. Some hard tips, especially phenolic, require more careful chalking to get sufficient coverage. Have fun with the tests and challenges, and good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.